What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop and um, I wanted to do a quick rundown on not Zippos, but inserts. So there's a lot of inserts, well there's not a lot of inserts for the market. Um, you know if you smoke cigars you shouldn't be using a Zippo with the, um, the liquid fuel. Um, that does transfer over, I, I don't care what people say, I can taste it. I've tried it before and I can taste that lighter fluid coming through the cigar. So that's why I like the, uh, the butane inserts. And you have a couple of, well until recently you only had two options. You had this one, this was the uh, the Z Plus Extreme. Um, and I think this one's from Thunderbird. I'm not I'm not 100%, we're just gonna call it the Z Plus Extreme. Um, and then this one, which is uh, this, no, no, this is the Thunderbird. So uh, the Thunderbird by Vector, I believe. So we're just gonna call this the Thunderbird because I'm not 100% sure it's by Vector. So we got this, uh, so you always had the Z Plus Extreme and then you always had the Thunderbird. Now I have had um, the Thunderbird. I have a cool Zippo, um, uh, copper brass, very steampunk. I have had this inside. This was expensive. This was like a hundred bucks uh, for this. And I've had the Thunderbird and this sitting inside uh, my office for probably nine months now. And I never used it. It was cool, um, but this insert sucks. Um, I hated it. Um, Tony Costa sent me for my birthday this cool little steampunk and he included the uh, the Z Plus insert and I have been using this thing like a fiend. I love this. I love that insert and then just recently I found out Zippo got into the game of making inserts and I'm like that's it. They're gonna be the best. They make their lighters. Why would they not make an insert? And why did it take them so long to make an insert for their lighters? So I bought one and, um, and I like it. So uh, a, a couple different things. So the only downfall of this one, the Z Plus, you cannot use a cigar prop bleed tool to bleed it, it does not work. Um, you've got to use something uh, sharp to push it down with. You know, that kind of sucks. It's kind of, um, that's how you can damage uh, a lighter over over time. So that's a little bit of the downfall. I love it because a big clear window, um, you can see exactly how much fuel and then you can see all the inner workings, which I love. You know, so that, that's, a, that's a big, big, big plus. This one actually just started working today. Um, every time before it was hit and miss it would work one time and then it would not work um, and then uh, it would only light a few times like a few cigars and then it, when it was working and it would be out of fuel and I was constantly refilling this one now this one the little perk you can see it's kind of hard to see because it's white you can actually adjust the flame if you wanted to with your with your finger if you could get it over there you really need a little screwdriver to do it um, this one, you have to have a little um, screwdriver, same thing. You can get something in there to, to adjust it, but you, you, your, your best bet's to have a screwdriver. So, but you can use the, the um, on the Thunderbird, you can use the, the butane lighter bleed tool that, that we sell. It, it works just fine. This one you cannot. Uh, the Zippo, um, and I love, I there's no fuel window, which is kind of a, the downfall, but it looks more classic Zippo. It's all completely shiny, and I absolutely love it. It just, the quality of it in your hand, it's even got like the fake little holes. This thing looks like a real Zippo. Um, just the quality, uh, of just everything about it, all the movements. I don't know if they're making this for themselves um, or if someone's making it for them, but it's just, man, it's just got that classic. That's the that's that one, but then you got 
you got that tinny, that tinniness from that classic Zippo that I love. Works every time. You can get this in a, a dual flame and a single flame. Um, the butane lighter tool does work on this one. Um, the the, um, the fuel dial, um, you still need a screwdriver with it, but it's a lot bigger. It's twice the size of these other ones and it just feels a lot more durable. Everything about this is a lot more durable. Now on, um, uh, whoop. All right, uh, so these on Amazon, these inserts, uh, um, these other two are, I think they're like $15, 15 to $18. Uh, this one I had to get directly from Zippo because you can't get it on Amazon yet. And it was um, $16.95 plus $7 shipping plus $2 sales tax. So it made it $25. So is, is it worth the, you know, we'll say depending on what you can find it, the, the $8 to $10, you know, you know, $9 to $11 price range difference? I think it is. It's just a lot more durable. It's got, it's just, it's it's heavier. You know, I wish I had, oh, I do have my scale out here. Let me, let me just see. Let's see. Three ounces versus 2.4. Actually, so someone's, someone's gonna say it. I know they are. Let's just see what it would be. 2.5. So it's, it's just, I don't know, it just got more bulk. It feels sturdier, it feels stronger, and I love it. Um, but this, the Z Plus, absolutely flawless. No problems with it at all. I would buy it over and over again. Um, I would definitely recommend it. This one, like the Thunderbird, pile of crap. I definitely would not recommend it. Um, but I don't know, it's just, it just looks... You know, it just looks like a Zippo. You know, I guess, I guess you, you, the, the Zippo people out there, you, you would understand. It just looks like a Zippo. It's got some heft, which I like. So, I don't know. So, you're, um, that's your choicing. Um, I'll put, um, I don't know, uh, like I said, uh, I'll put the links down below um, to these other two. Um, so, you can kind of read the specs on them yourself. Um, uh, I, I, I'm assuming I'll be, I buy everything on Amazon, everything. So I'm assuming you can find it on Amazon. Um, if I forget to put the links down below, you'll just have to remember what I told you. So, but like I said, right now the Zippo one, you can only get on Zippo's website. Hopefully we'll be able to get that on Amazon soon. So I don't have to pay shipping. I don't like paying shipping. So it sucks. So, all right, that's, uh, that's all we got for today. So, um, as always, um, Give your cigars the lighter that they deserve.